Hey, what's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking a conductor 2 meter long carrying a current of 3 ampere is placed parallel to the z axis at a distance rho naught is equal to 10 centimeter as shown in the figure. If the field in the region is cos phi by 3 a rho Weber per meter square, how much work is required to rotate the conductor one revolution about the z axis? Now in order to find out the work, here the question is asking for the work. In order to find out the work, first we have to find out the force. Now to find the force of the conductor, we can use this equation. F is equal to I L cross B. I is given, that is 3 ampere. So we can plug 3 right here. And the length of the conductor is 2 meter. And that is in the Z direction. So because you can see this is in the Z direction. So this is going to be what 2 A Z. And then cross magnetic field is given by cos phi by 3 a rho. So cos phi by 3 a rho. Okay, now if we do the cross product and multiply, multiply this one, we are going to get 6 cos phi by 3 a phi newton. So this is our force. Now our purpose is to find out how much work is required to rotate the conductor one revolution about the z-axis. So to find the work we had to use this equation. W is equal to integral. So one revolution mean what? We had to rotate one full rotation that is 0 to 2 phi. So the limits of integration 0 to 2 phi in the phi. If it's rotated around z-axis that is phi. Okay, so this is going to be phi and f dl. Now we found out the f already. That's f is what? So the phi is equal to 0. f is 6 cos phi by 3. f phi. And dl is, so this is rho around. Okay, rho, rho is the radius around phi. So we, we can replace this L with negative rho d phi. Negative rho d phi. And uh, the direction is a phi. Okay. That's all we need. Now let's continue this one here. Okay. So here we have brought the integral. Now let's try to simplify the integral. So W is equal to negative phi is equal to 0 to 2 phi and then 6 cos phi by 3 rho d phi. Now if we do the integration this 6 is a constant so this is just going to move to the front and then we have rho that's also constant because we are integrating with respect to phi so this is the only angle this is the only thing that's going to change cos phi by 3 that's going to become sine phi by 3, sine phi by 3 divided by 1 by 3. And that's going from 0 to 2 phi. Now if we plug the values, let's get rid of this part. Okay, let's get rid of this part. and continue here okay let's continue with a different color so we derived this one so this is going to be what w is equal to negative 6 times 10 times 10 to the power of minus 2 times 3 times sine 2 phi divided by 3 Okay, this 1 over 3 flips around and go to the top. That's how we got this 3. And rho is already given 10 centimeters. So 10 times 10 to the power of minus 2. And then we have replaced this 5 with 2 5. So sine 2 5 by 3. Now if we simplify and solve for this one, this is going to give us negative 1.559 joule. So this is going to be the work is required to rotate the conductor 1 revolution about the z axis. And that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.